Alhamdulillah, it's a huge milestone for Maps here to be in such a wonderful establishment for 10 years and to be, have had so much success over this past decade. Alhamdulillah, I'm blessed to say that I've been part of this community for, uh, ever since its doors opened in Ramadan of 2006. It was a humble little office space on 180th Avenue, about a block down. And I remember the day that it was fitted with its first rugs. In fact, it was the first video I ever recorded on my flip phone back then. I remember a couple weeks later, we were so excited because we had 20 people come for Jummah prayer. And then even a couple years after that, we literally had to break down a wall in order to fit everyone because we needed so much more overflow space. And just the year after that, we needed to rent a second office space just to accommodate for everyone during iftar during Ramadan. So alhamdulillah, the MAPS community has been growing exponentially since its establishment. And it really paralleled well with the original mission statement of MAPS back in 2006, to build a vibrant Muslim community in the east side, which caters to the need of the entire spectrum of local Muslims. Yes, because basically we come here tonight just for one, for one reason to show our gratitude, our thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for uncounted blessings that have been given to us. And one of the blessings is this masjid, this facility. We thank to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I believe that all of you here, you did participate in construction, in maintaining this masjid. Your help is very critical for us to continue to manage these growing expenses as we serve our community. Our expenses have crossed $2 million. Last year, we had last year we had major capital expenses. Hence, our expenses have gone up. We built the library, coffee shop, play area. We changed the tiles in one of the rooms, landscaping and other expenses, which costed us about $331,000. We are growing as a community year after year. Hence, our expenses are growing as well. We also have to maintain the facility of our size, which is over 42,000 square foot, and we we are committed to maintaining it to the quality that we desire. So for our future, what are we going to do next year and beyond? So let me spend a few minutes on that. Number one is we want to pay off our debt so that we can invest in our future. So we are, uh, we are going to put an extra effort this year uh, because Alhamdulillah, by your help and the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we were able to clear off the construction loan this year. So we won't have that money, so we are going to work on paying off that debt, so that way we can spend in our future. Number two, we want to accelerate the social, uh, social good and grow leadership. You can see the beginning of that has started today. We have, uh, we have designed this program so that we can really focus on spreading good, improving the lives and winning the hearts of the community that we live in. So we are, as well as we want to grow the leadership for both our children, our youth, our adults, etc. And the, third and, the most, and the third and the most important one is looking for expansion opportunities for MAPS. The masjid that we have activities, you know, all kinds of activities. We have Islamic lectures, we have halaqa in different languages, we have classes, we have tahfid Quran, we have sport, we have tournament, we have bazaar, everything that you need. And all of this, because of the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and because for your effort and your dedication. Also, we thank to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we have masjid where the imam and the board and the community can work together. The masjid that full of brotherhood and sisterhood, something difficult to find in the other masjid. This is a blessing for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inshallah, we can keep this. So, I, as we reflect back from where we came to where we are today, I cannot thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enough for his blessings and for your support. From the humble beginnings of MAPS Foundation in 2006 to coming to a new facility in 2011 till today, we have experienced tremendous growth in all aspects. This is the 10th year since MAPS came into existence, as you have been, um, uh, as you have been hearing. You have witnessed the progress we have made in the last decade. Alhamdulillah, every year our progress is increasing with your help and with the volunteers that are there and the money that you help, uh, that you provide this organization with. <clears throat> Inshallah, next decade will show more progress, more impact to the community that we live in. Tomorrow will be more promising for us as we grow. We will have many more impactful programs, many more institutions can take birth from here and create confident Muslims leading the world from all aspects. We have planted the seed 
and it is growing. Now it is the time for us to expand its growth and realize our vision by enhancing our faith, enriching all around us, learning from others, and creating a compassionate thought leaders as example citizens of the world. My Iman was always being tested as a child, whether I knew it or not. And when you're an American Muslim in school, and even at home at times, it's not always easy to know how to make the right decision, or how to say no to something when you know it's wrong, or to stand up for your beliefs and your identity as a Muslim. And it's a pretty typical thing for the average American child. But what helped me overcome those internal, psychological, social, and educational struggles were one, of course, the will and the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, my parents, and the strong Islamic principles and guidance that they raised me with, and having the masjid as a very integral part of my life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, will serve them and save them. But in the same manner, he said what? He said, pray to Allah and sacrifice. And the word inham, you have to understand the Arabic language. It is very specific. When you talk about something, you have to know Allah did not put that for accident. He meant Allah, every word he put in the Quran. So when he said, فَصَلِّ رَبِّكَ وَنْحَوْ What animal do you sacrifice as inham? Oh, you are.